Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is how to turn a Vortex Wireless 2 into an Arranger workstation. Open your web browser and type in Blue Arp. Click on the Grey Wolf 2004.net WP web link. Scroll down the page and click on the Download Blue Arp link. Click on the zip file download that suits your computer and door. I'm running Ableton Live Lite on a Windows 10 PC. So I clicked on the Blue Arp Win VST3 V2.3.7 zip. Click on the download file. Then once it is downloaded, click on open. Click on the downloads folder. Right mouse click on the Blue Arp zip file. Click on Extract All on the pop-up menu, then click on Extract. Right mouse click the Blue Arp folder and click on Copy on the pop-up menu. Click on your C drive. Right mouse click in the blank area of the right pane. Click on New, then Folder on the pop-up menu then type in VST3. Now double click the VST3 folder. Right mouse click on the right pane and click on paste on the pop-up menu. Open Ableton Live Lite. Click on Options. Click on Preferences. Then click on the Plug-ins tab. Turn on Use VST3 Plugin Custom Folder. Then click on Browse. Type in C colon VST3. Then click on Select Folder. Now click on the X icon to close the Preferences pane. Click on Plugins. Click on the arrow to the left of the VST3 folder to expand it. Click on the arrow to the left of the OMG Instruments folder to expand it. Then drag the Blue Arp VST to a MIDI track. Now click on the X icon to close the Blue Arp pane. Click on Instruments. Click on the arrow to the left of the Instrument Rack folder to expand it. Click on the arrow to the left of the Bass folder to expand it. Then drag a bass guitar to a different MIDI track. Now click on All Ins on the Bass Guitar MIDI track. Then click on Blue Arp in the pop-up menu. Next, click on Post Effects and click on Blue Arp in the pop-up menu. Now, click on the Arm icon on both MIDI tracks. If you can't arm both tracks, right mouse click on one of the Arm icons and click on the Arm Exclusive so there is no tick in front of the words Arm Exclusive. Click on All Ins on the Blue Arp MIDI track and click on Vortex Wireless 2 in the pop-up menu. Click on All Channels, then click on Channel 1 in the pop-up menu. Now select the lower zone on the Vortex and press a key. You should now hear the Arp play on the bass guitar. Click on the Blue Arp MIDI track. Then click on the Show icon to open the Blue Arp pane. Click on each square in the root row of the step sequencer.
click on the arrow to the left of Off Key 1 under the words Force to Scale Root Key and tap on Detect from Chord on the pop-up menu. The bass guitar will now play the root note when you play chords on the vortex. The note played by the bass guitar is shown to the right of the words Note Out at the bottom right of the pane. Click on Step Type and click on some squares in the off row. Now the bass will not play the steps turned off. Click on Key Select. Click on some squares in row K1 that are above the light coloured squares in the root row. The bass will now play the lowest note of the chord on these steps. Click on some squares in the row K2 for the bass to play the second lowest key of the chord on those steps. And click on some squares in row K3 for the bass to play the third lowest key of the chord on those steps. Click on the arrow below Sync and click on 1 8th on the pop up menu to change the step notes from 1 16th notes to 1 8th notes. The bass guitar notes will now play at a slower speed. Click on Step Type. Click on a square in the rest row that is in the column to the right of the light coloured note to extend that note over two squares. Now, Click on the X icon to close the blue ARP pane. Next, click on MIDI FX. Click on the arrow to the left of pitch and drag minus 12 dB to the blue ARP track. Now delete the two audio tracks. and add a MIDI track and drag a drum kit to the MIDI track. Double click on the first clip slot and add some notes to the step sequencer to create a drum track. Then add another MIDI track. Click on Instruments. Click on the arrow to the left of the Strings folder to expand it. And drag a Strings instrument to the MIDI track. Then click on MIDI Effects. And drag a plus 12 dB from the Pitch folder to the MIDI track. Now click on All Ins 
and click on the Vortex Wireless 2 in the pop-up menu. Click on All Channels and click on Channel 1 on the pop-up menu. Then click on the arm icon to arm the track. Now add another MIDI channel. Click on Instruments. Click on the arrow to the left of the Piano and Keys folder to expand it. And drag a Piano VST to the MIDI track. Click on All Ins. And click on the Vortex Wireless 2 on the pop-up menu. Now click on All Channels and click on channel 2 on the pop-up menu. Then click on the arm icon to arm the track. On the Vortex Wireless 2, press the split button. Now click on the play icon on the drum clip and start playing the Vortex. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.